Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our five-day-per-week wisdom and legacy building podcast. This is day 573 of our trek, and today is Philosophy Friday. Every Friday, we will ponder some of the basic truths and mysteries of life and how they can impact us in creating our living legacy. Currently, we are on an extended multi-week trek as we explore the teachings of some of my virtual mentors, such as Jim Rohn, Zig Ziglar, and Earl Nightingale. The core of the current trek is based primarily on Jim Rohn's book, The Five Major Pieces to the Life Puzzle. I have learned a considerable amount reading and rereading this book on my own trek of life, and I trust that it will benefit you also. Keeping with the continuity of Wisdom Trek, I have adapted it to The Five Trails on Life's Trek. We are broadcasting from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio, This has been an extremely busy week of client work as we have multiple projects that we are currently working on. In addition to that, we are finishing up the renovation in our downstairs bathroom. We're replacing the clawfoot tub with a four-foot shower unit, replacing the toilet, adding a cabinet and counter space, and replacing all the light fixtures. We also have a special treat this week. Our grandson Kip is staying with us for the week, but it does change the dynamic of our work schedule. We certainly enjoy the blessed time of having them stay with Granny and Gramps for the week. It is a delicate balance to cover all the basics because we realize that if any aspect is neglected, it will intensify future challenges. As we continue on our extended trek, focusing on the fourth trail, which is the trail of results today, we will explore the value of confidence in determining our results. If you've missed any of the past few Philosophy Friday treks, it would be good to go back and review them so that you'll get caught up on our progress so far. We have a lot of ground to cover today, so let's break camp and continue on the fourth trail of our extended trek as we cover the five trails on life's trek, results part seven. And as a reminder, our overall extended trek covers these five trails, philosophy, attitude, activity, results, and lifestyle. First, we want to explore how neglect intensifies future challenges. While challenges can serve a worthwhile function in helping you to achieve your goals, there is no need to deliberately invite them into your life. Ten years from now, you will be somewhere. The question is, where? Now is the time to fix the next ten years. Life will present you with enough obstacles without purposely attracting them to you. One of the best ways to minimize future challenges is to anticipate the results of your current neglect. Anticipating the results of your current neglect begins with asking yourself important questions about your attention to the basics. And here are five questions to consider. How many books have you read in the last 90 days? How regularly did you exercise this past month? How much income have you invested this past year? How many letters or emails have you written to others this past week? How many times have you written in your journal this past month? The answer to these and many other questions will provide you with the vital information about your potential for progress and the future rewards. If you cannot discipline yourself in the small things, you will lack the discipline to capitalize on the great opportunities when they do appear. Every error defeated by disciplined activity pays the way to your future success. That is how the trails of life are completed, one step at a time. The next area we want to explore today is how the value of confidence is crucial in determining results. If you are to pursue the rich and satisfying life, you should never settle for less than the best that you can do. Doing less than your best has a disastrous effect. It erodes self-confidence and it diminishes your self-worth. Doing less than you can inevitably affects your attitude. It leads to the bottomless pit of degrading emotions and produces embarrassing and discouraging results. Doing less than you can creates guilt. Guilt then leads to worry and worry gives birth to self-doubt. Then comes an inevitable loss of self-confidence and the blueprint for failure is now virtually complete. The less capable you feel, the less you do and less activity means fewer results. As your results decline, so does your attitude. The negative spiral has now begun, and your life is soon spinning out of your control. You need to ask yourself, and how did it all begin? When you allowed yourself to do less than you could have done, the growing weight of things left undone undermines your confidence, not only in yourself, but also in the possibility of a better future. The good news is that there is a solution for those whose lives are caught in this negative spiral. By going to work on your attitude, you put yourself in a better position to begin the process of taking action. From increased activities, you can produce new results. From these early results, your self-confidence will once again begin to grow. As your confidence increases, you push yourself into new activities, which produces new results. And that improves your attitude even more. Suddenly, what was once a life spinning out of control 
is a life headed toward the pole of the future. It begins by doing whatever is necessary to change your attitude, and this is the beginning point of all human progress and achievement. Most of the time, the best prescription for a poor attitude is activity. You may find yourself with an acceptable attitude and need only involvement in which you apply your talent. It has been wisely said, Weak is he who permits his attitude to control his actions, and strong is he who forces his actions to control his thoughts. It all begins with our thought life. Whether the recipe for success begins with activity or attitude, the essential step is to go to work on one or the other, but preferably both. It is inactivity, regardless of the cause, that is unacceptable. Action can begin by writing a long overdue letter or making an important but difficult telephone call. It can be the purchase of a journal or the reading of a good book. It can be the simple act of turning off the TV or radio and taking a new training course, listening to a podcast, or reading a book that will provide you with new insights. Whenever your life is turned upside down, you must find yourself something worth doing to change things for the better. You may do this with wavering confidence in the beginning. You may have to do it in despite of the presence of fear. Inevitably, your doubts and fears will step aside when your unyielding commitment to take action comes into the picture. The results produced by these initial acts of faith will become the foundation upon which to build a whole new life. Results are more than just an objective, they are the very seeds of future joy and prosperity. Every result we experience, no matter how small, is another certain step taken toward the life of achievement. Ultimately, our self-confidence is built on the confidence that we have in God to give us wisdom, insight, and understanding to carry on each day. As Hebrews chapter 10, verse 35 and 36 tells us, So do not throw away this confident trust in the Lord. Remember the great reward it brings you. Patient endurance is what you need now, so that you will continue to do God's will. Then you will receive all that He has promised. We are deliberately taking our trek slowly on the five trails on life's trek as we continue to hike the trail of results. Today you learn that you must not fall prey to neglect and that you must value confidence to determine positive results, and this applies to all the areas of your life. Next Philosophy Friday, we will finish up the trail of results before moving on to our fifth and final trail, which is the trail of lifestyle. So join us next Friday for these additional insights. I know that you'll find these insights interesting and profitable in living the rich and satisfying life for you. But our next trek will be Monday as we continue on a series called The Tools in Gramps' Backpack, where we will equip you with the tools needed to impact the lives of others. So encourage your family and friends to join us and to come along with us on Monday for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past daily treks or read their associated journals, they are all available on wisdom-trek.com. You can also subscribe to iTunes or Google Play so that each day's trek will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, let to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you on Monday.